I'm Graham Osborne with the Bryce's Crossroads Foundation. And we're here in Fredericksburg, Virginia for the 160th anniversary of the Battle of Fredericksburg. And we're gonna tell you some of the connections of this epic battle here in our Civil War history in North Mississippi. Stay tuned. We're at the upper pontoon crossing site of the Rappahannock River. In the early morning hours of December 11, 1862, Union forces began to cross the river to occupy the town of Fredericksburg. There to oppose them were the Mississippians of Barksdale's Brigade. One unit in that brigade was the 17th Mississippi Infantry Regiment. Comprised of companies that were mostly or entirely filled with men from counties in North Mississippi. Their actions on December 11th, while costly, did significantly contribute to the overwhelming Confederate victory at the Battle of Fredericksburg. The 17th Mississippi and other Mississippi units delayed the federal crossing much longer than the leadership of either army anticipated. This delay gave Confederate General Robert E. Lee crucial time to solidify his defenses above the town of Fredericksburg. On December 11th, the 17th Mississippi would engage in a type of fighting that was unique for the Civil War, urban, street to street, and house to house combat. The fighting was intense and casualties were high on both sides. While urban combat was extremely rare during the war, it did happen at least one other time in a significant context, and that was at a battleground in North Mississippi. In October 1862, just a couple of months before the Battle of Fredericksburg, the Battle of Corinth, Mississippi, sometimes called the Second Battle of Corinth, also had urban combat in the streets and amongst the houses of the important railroad junction city. There is another interesting connection with the 17th Mississippi Infantry in Civil War history in North Mississippi. One of the officers of the 17th Mississippi was a William Duff. After being wounded in battle later in the war, Duff would return home and organize and take command of a cavalry unit. That unit, known at different times as Duff's Cavalry, the 19th Mississippi Cavalry Battalion, or the 8th Mississippi Cavalry Regiment, was one of two Mississippi units that fought for the South at the Battle of Bryce's Crossroads in 1864. On December 13, 1862, wave after wave of Union assaults were launched at the Confederate position here at the stone wall at the base of Maurice Heights. One of the federal division commanders on that disastrous day for the Union was Samuel Sturgis. Yes, the same Samuel Sturgis who had overall command of the federal troops at the Battle of Bryce's Crossroads. Here, just like at the Battle of Bryce's Crossroads, Sturgis and his men would suffer a serious defeat on the field of battle. Now, Samuel Sturgis was a widely traveled man during the Civil War. He fought in the Eastern Theater, battles like Fredericksburg, in the Western Theater, at Price's Crossroads, and even in the Trans-Mississippi Theater of War, when in 1861, he fought at the Battle of Wilson's Creek, Missouri. The Battle of Fredericksburg was a major Confederate victory. Nearly 2,000 men were killed outright, and there was a total of 18,000 casualties. The Virginia countryside outside the town of Fredericksburg is full of Civil War history. The Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park who graciously allowed us to film for this video, actually preserves and interprets four major Civil War battles. Fredericksburg in 1862, Chancellorsville in 1863, the Battle of the Wilderness in 1864, and Spotsylvania Courthouse, also in 1864. 
Thanks for watching the video. We invite you to look deeper into these connections between the Battle of Fredericksburg and Civil War history in North Mississippi. Or feel free to share some of your own connections that you have made that we might have missed. You can comment on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. Please keep those comments respectful. And we ask you to consider joining the Bryce's Crossroads Foundation today. Until next time, goodbye from Fredericksburg.